Millions of visitors to the World's Fair have watched a giant computer register the increase in the Earth's population minute by minute. Somehow it scares you a little, doesn't it? Why? Listen to The Last Land Rush on Theater 5. Theater 5 presents The Last Land Rush. Attention, all citizens. Attention, all citizens. To do its part in alleviating the ever-expanding population explosion, the Department of Public Resources is pleased to announce that all grass divider strips on all public highways, parkways, and flyways will be thrown open to private ownership. In keeping with the traditions and spirit that made this country great, the means of acquisition will follow the rules and regulations laid down over 100 years ago during the great Oklahoma land rush. On the 31st day of this month, all interested citizens will line the edge of the highways and wait for the starting gun. Any citizen can own any area he can stake and hold from noon of that day to noon of the following day. Further details will be announced over the system as they develop. This is a progress report in keeping with our policy of building a better world through communication and understanding. Sue, Sue, did you hear the news? No, what is it? They're going to throw the parkway dividers open to private ownership. Oh, that, yes, I heard. Don't you see what this means to us? We can have a place of our own. I don't see how we could... All we have to do is stake out a piece of ground and hold it for 24 hours. Then it's our land to build on or to do what we want. But we don't have any money to build, you know that. We don't have to have any money, all we need is the land. One of the big real estate development agencies will lease the land from us and incorporate it into a development called Inner Highway Apartments or something like that. They can build as high as they like and, and tunnel under the highways. With the price of land as high as it is these days, well, the money they pay will keep us the rest of our lives. We can retire. Oh, Ross, I don't want to retire. All I want is a place we can call our own. A place where we can live together in privacy and raise a family. Once we have the land, we can do that, too. We can make a deal that we have an apartment for ourselves as, as a part of the payment. We could still live on what's left over. But I thought we might take the money and move someplace else. Where? Oh, I don't know. They're building new developments in the Arctic Circle. Oh, but that's so far from everything. But it would be cleaner and less crowded up there. In those cities under glass, there aren't half so many people per square foot as here. But it would be so expensive to shuttle back and forth to see the folks. And everything we want is right here. The, the museum, the, the opera. They have museums and opera up there. But it isn't the same. It isn't New York. We're only an hour away from everything on the express tubes. New York, Washington, Detroit. That's why land in this area is going to go so high. I understand people are coming in from as far away as South America. Oh, please, Ross, can't we stay here? Uh, we'll decide that later, but... Uh... First, we have to get the land. Uh, where are you going? I've got to see a man about some equipment. Oh, wait, wait. But aren't we going to have lunch? There isn't time. The big land grab will be at the end of the month. We've got to be ready now. Where are you going? I'll see you back at the office. But I fixed lunch. I, I even got this place for us to sit down. Sue? Sue? What do you want? Shh. We don't want to wake your parents or your grandmother. Get up and get dressed. What for? Shh, shh, shh. We're going up on the roof. But what for? Shh. I'll explain it to you when we get there. Just get dressed quietly. <laughs> this so nobody will disturb us. Ross, what have you got under that blanket? Check to see if anybody's up here. Okay. We're alone. Oh, no. No, there's a family sleeping over there. Well, I'm afraid this is as private as, as it's going to get. Let's move over to the other side of the room. Oh, Ross, they have nothing over them or anything. What if it rains? Well, they're probably just here for the land grab. 
They don't intend to stay. Oh, and did you see that family on the second landing of the stairs? That baby looked half-starved to death. Sue, you can't think about that. There's too many people. This should be good enough. What are you doing? Tying a rope to this nail. But what for? We're going to make a lot of noise up here, and I want to get rid of the evidence as quickly as possible. The end of this rope just reaches down to our bedroom window. Now, what do you have in this blanket? Open it and see. All right. I still don't understand. What are these? Submachine guns. What? Submachine guns. They used to use them years ago during the early 1900s. I still don't understand. Getting across the superhighway will only be half the problem. Staking out the land and holding it will be the other half. According to the rules and regulations, you can't use any modern-day weapons. But you can use anything made before the Second World War to protect your claim. Oh. I, I got these from an antique shop owner I know. But what are we going to do with them? They're a very effective weapon against a large number of people at close range. But they're difficult to hold on target. We'll have to practice firing them so they won't fly out of our hands the first time we fire. You mean me? Why I'm you... sorry, Sue. The day they give that parkway land away is not going to be pretty. You're going to have to get used to that. Oh, Ross, I... I don't think I could... I could kill anybody. Sue, listen to me. Once we get across that parkway to the grass divider, I'll have to stake out the ground. Now, I could be rushed from behind, and you'll have to be ready to defend me. All right, Ross, I'll... I'll try. Now, how do you hold it? Ow. Uh, well, first of all, you've got to remember to bear down on it as you fire. Okay. It bucks up and oh. it'll spray bullets in the air if you don't bear down. Oh, like this? No. so heavy. Now, hold the butt of the gun close into your waist oh. like this. Okay. Now, aim at the skylight on the next building. Try. We'll fire one first together and then throw the guns over yeah. the side. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Now, don't forget to pull down hard on the forward grip. Okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Quick, over the side. Hey! Skylight! Skylight! Huh? Quick, over the side. What's the challenge? Uh, I, I don't know. I, uh... I never heard anything like it before. It sounded to me like it came from the other building. Uh, what was it, Charles? Oh, somebody set up a commotion next door. Hush, children. Now it's all right. I wonder what it was. I never heard anything like it before. Uh, neither have I. It sounded like an explosion of some kind. Well, I guess everything's all right. Good night. You think people will have a little more consideration? Hey, you think they would, wouldn't you? Good girl, Susie. You hit your target. Before. Hold my hand so we don't get separated. All right. Where do you think they all came from? All over. Canada, Bolivia, Houston. Look, look, look. There's a man from our building. Yeah, most of them are from right around here. Oh. There are enough people right in this area to populate the grass divider strips a hundred hey, times over. Watch where you're going, will oh, you? Oh, sorry. Don't you see when people are at work? What is that, a tunnel? Well, what's it look like, a spaceship? But the rules and regulations say you're not allowed to tunnel under the highway. You're supposed to cross over the surface. We'll worry about the rules and regulations once we get across the parkway to that dividing strip there in the Senate. When you get your piece of land, nobody's going to ask you how you got it. Um, how much would you charge to let us use it? Ah, uh, forget it. Me and my buddies built this, and we're the only ones going to use it. Now move out of here, will you? You're kicking sand in a hole. This way, sir. Aren't we going to try and get closer to the edge of the highway? No, we want to we want to stand back on this rise. But, Ross, why? You'll see, you'll see. This machine gun is heavy. Oh, keep it covered. We don't want anybody trying to take it away from us before we need it. I'm Attention, trying. all citizens. Attention, all citizens. It has been decided by the Committee on Rules and Regulations that traffic will not be stopped in the supersonic lanes. Oh, Ross. Drivers will proceed at their own risk. I thought so. I repeat... Traffic will not be stopped in the supersonic lanes. Do they realize what they're doing? Of course they do. All over the country. 
people are going to try and cross the highways at the same time. Why, more people will be killed today than in all the wars that ever were. That's the point of the whole thing. Open up what little land is left, a little, and relieve the population pressure at the same time. Attention! Yes. Attention, all citizens wishing to synchronize their watches with the atomic clock at Greenwich. The time is now 11.52 and 3 seconds. The countdown will start at 11.59 and 45 seconds. The signal gun will be fired at 12 noon. No citizen will attempt to cross the highways before that time. Any contestant attempting to do so will be destroyed by the highway controls. Thank you. Oh, come on, let's uh, let's move back this way. Away from the highway, we'll be the last ones across. Well, the first ones will be hit by cars. And we'll wait until enough of them are out there to stop traffic. Then we won't have have to worry about that. Ah, this should be good enough. You, uh, gonna cross to the big land grab, lady? What? Oh, yes. Sue, let's move on. I thought so with all that fancy equipment you got on. And boots and knapsacks and all. Oh, are, are you going across? If we can. Originally, my husband and me was going, but we got separated in the crowd. Now it's just me. And the kids. Sue, I think we ought to move over here further. I guess we'll try and get across and maybe hold on to something. Maybe if we get a piece of land, he'll find us. It's going to be tough with two kids and a baby. Sue, come on. Well, uh, I, I wish you luck. Same to you, lady. Oh, Ross, why did you pull me away like that for? Because you can't afford to get involved with any of these people. And why not? Because once we get to the highway island, it will be everyone for himself. <laughs> Stay back from the edge of the highway. All contestants must stay off the highway until the starting gun is sounded. Violators will be destroyed. It is now 45 seconds before the hour. We will start the countdown in exactly 30 seconds. Remember, you must stake your claim in the prescribed manner with ropes and stakes and hold it against all comers until noontime tomorrow. Please stay back of the curb until you hear the gun. Stay back until you hear the gun fire. Fifteen seconds. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Stay back of the line. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Nobody's moving. They're all afraid. Oh, it feels like the calm before the storm. Something's got to be done to start them off. All right, everybody. There's the land. Let's go. Stay back, Sue. Let's go. Good. They started. Come on, Sue. The cars are starting to pile up. People! Hold my hands on What are we doing to each other? Bridge of wrecks this way. Come on, we'll head for the high ground. Oh, it's insanity. Hold on and keep running. Where, where are we going? That patch of ground up ahead. Oh, listen, we'll never get there in time. If I can stake it, we oh. can hold it. Get your machine gun out. Ross, I can't. I don't think I can't. You have to. You have to keep them off me while I stake the ground. Ross, I can't. You have to, Sue. You have to. Get your gun out and hold them off. I can't protect myself and stake at the same time. Look, they're coming up the hill. Fire into them. Scare them back. I can't. Sue, you have to. I can't. I can't. I've only got two more stakes to go. Fire, Sue! Fire! Ross, how many people do you think we killed today? I don't know. One hundred? Two? Sue, don't think about it. Try and get some sleep. I'll keep the fire going. All right. You'll need to be fresh for tomorrow. Hello there. Who's there? Hello. 
You there by the fire. Ross, it's the woman we saw on the other side of the highway. Stay on the other side of the road. I seen your fire and I wondered if I might come over a minute and heat some water on it. My baby's sick. And I thought something warm might comfort him. No, go away. We've got nothing here for you. Oh, Ross, we can let her come in just to warm up something for the baby. No, if we do that, she'll stay until tomorrow. Oh, Ross. If she's here when the gun goes off tomorrow at noon, she'll own as much of this property as we do. Oh, please let me near the fire. This baby's awful sick. Stay back at the rope or I'll shoot. Oh, please let her in, Ross, for the baby. Well, suppose she doesn't leave when you want her to. I'll handle it. Well, all right, but I don't like it. If we let you come near the fire, will you leave when we ask you to? Oh, yes, lady, yes. All I want is to get this baby warmed up. Hey, didn't I talk to you on the other side? Yes. Yes, you did. You two did pretty good for yourselves. What happened to the other children? Didn't you have two more? I lost them in a crossing. I told them to hang on to me, but they couldn't. Eh? Couldn't be helped. Maybe they'll turn up. Guess I could count myself lucky to be alive. Here, do you want me to take the baby? Oh, no, he's sleeping now. I guess he'll be all right now. Maybe if I could just lay down for a minute. I'm so tired. Sue. Oh, that's all right, mister. I know the rules as well as you do. I... I don't intend to stay past the time when the gun goes off. If you just let me lay down for a little while here. Of course it would be all right. Uh, you just get some sleep and we'll wake you when it's time to go. Sure was good of you people to fix me breakfast and all. I, I never really meant to stay this long. Oh, that's all right. Oh, I really appreciate it. I just want Attention, you to know that. all land oh. claimants. Attention, all land claimants. It is now 11.58. The noon bell will sound in exactly two minutes. The new land will legally become the property of those who have successfully homesteaded the highway dividing island. Oh, my goodness, I had no idea it was so late. I'd better be going or we'll wind up sharing ownership of this piece of ground. Uh, here, let, let me help you. Oh, all right, mister, if you'd just hold the baby a minute while I tie my shawl. Look, look out! No, oh, lady, Ross. you look out. If you don't want to see your boyfriend cut in two with his machine, <laughs> stand back, you two. I know how to use this thing. I watched you all day yesterday, and I'm not afraid to use it either. Mister, put that baby down. You have no right to do Nobody that. Nobody has a right to anything but what they take. Now, you've been very kind to me, so I'm not going to kill you, but get off my property before noon comes. Shoot her, Sue. I, I, she I can't. can't do that. Shoot the mother of a child? Never. She's much too uncivilized for that. She's a throwback to a different time, a different way of life. She won't shoot me, but I will shoot the two of you if you don't get off my property. The time is now 11.59 and 15 I... seconds. The countdown will start in exactly 15 seconds. Sue, so you've got to shoot her. We'll lose everything we've worked for, everything we've dreamed of. You think you're the only one who worked and planned and dreamed? You think I want to go back to that grasping, struggling, screaming mob any more than you do? It's the countdown. 30, 29, 28. Get off 27. my property. So don't just stand there. Five, shoot. Five, you heard me. I said move. 21, 20. I don't want to kill the two of you, but, but I will if you don't move. Sue, don't be a cowardly fool. Shoot. I can't. If you're not on the other side of that rope by the time he reaches five, I'll kill the both of you. Sue, for heaven's sake. I, I, I... Congratulations, new land owners. A government surveyor will visit your area to register your claim. Please be patient until he reaches. Well, Sue, we won. Yes. We're landowners now, aren't we? Yes. How does it feel? Lonely. Ross, very lonely.
Theater 5 has presented The Last Land Rush, written by George Bamber and directed by Ted Bell. In the cast, Dwight Weiss, Wayne Tippett, Rosemary Rice, Sam Raskin, Fran Carlin, and Cecil Roy. Audio engineer, Neil Pulse. Sound technician, Terry Ross. Script editor, Jack C. Wilson. Original music by Alexander Vlastotsenko. Orchestra under the direction of Glenn Osser. 